Good morning everyone and thank you for joining me once again on my YouTube and Rumble channel. I'd like to share another word with you from the Lord today. Today is January the 18th of 2023. I have a quick announcement to make and that is that book three of the prophetic journals will be available this week from the Amazon channels. This book contains all the prophetic words that have been given through these videos over the past year from last January through till December. And so if you are interested in a hard copy of these words in a book form, this book is for you. It's a great resource to review these words Pray into them, speak them forth, strengthen your faith, and expect to see their fulfillment. As with all prophetic words, these are the expression of the heart of God, and it is our responsibility to come into alignment with God's heart. And so reviewing these words from time to time gives opportunity for that. I hope you are all doing well as you have moved into this new year and that the Lord has been empowering you to rise above the storms of life, to stand firm in Him and in His promises and in the hope that He gives. The word I'd like to share with you today will give you hope and encouragement for the future because the Lord is on the move. In this word today, the Lord tells us that the tide is turning. With a tide comes the winds, and he speaks of the wind of his spirit moving, and how we can't comprehend what he is doing, but we can trust that he is moving to accomplish all the things he has in mind to accomplish. This word today is titled, The Tide is Turning. I hope it will bless you as you listen today. I'll begin by reading scripture. John 3 verse 8, The wind blows where it wishes, and you hear its sound, but you do not know where it comes from or where it goes. So it is with everyone who is born of the Spirit. This scripture speaks of the wind of the Spirit that blows. And just as the wind, we cannot comprehend where it comes from or where it is going to go. Romans 13 verse 8. Owe no one anything except to love each other, for the one who loves another has fulfilled the law. This scripture speaks of our responsibility to love other people. And though it seems unconnected from the first scripture, it is part of the message the Lord is giving us today of how he is implementing love in his plan. 1 Peter 3 verse 8 Finally, all of you have unity of mind, sympathy, brotherly love, a tender heart, and a humble mind. This scripture verse speaks of those things the Lord expects of us, of standard, of unity, loving others from the heart, and walking in humility. In this word today, the Lord shares how these things, these qualities in his people will be put to use in the work that he is doing through his spirit. I'll begin reading this word. This is the day of your salvation. This is the day, says the Lord, and it is like no other. 
Draw near to me, drink deeply from the wells of salvation. The cisterns are overflowing, and the waters are bubbling up. This is the day of a fresh revelation, and the fullness of the power of God being poured out upon the earth. The tide is turning, the waters are rising, and the overflow is going out into the streets. Complacency and apathy will not unfold my people, for I am cutting away the shroud that has enveloped them, and they shall begin to move out in the call upon their lives. Follow my lead, and do not run ahead of me, says the Lord. Keep in step with my spirit. You do not know or understand the things I am doing in this day. Do not try to put my spirit in a box, to build walls around the works I do, as if to capture them and reproduce them. I will continue to confound those who seek to harness the power of my spirit in evil pursuit of selfish gain. I will not be boxed in, and I will not be used by those who would want to take advantage of of the anointing I am releasing in this day. All will marvel at and stand in awe of the works I do, for no one can comprehend them. The wind blows where it wills, and no one knows where it comes from or where it goes. The moving of my spirit is like the wind. It cannot be contained by human efforts. Greed and idolatry are two evils I will eradicate from the midst of my people. No longer will they use and abuse the power of God, for I am taking my power away from the greedy and the idolatrous and putting it into the lives of those least expected. I am transferring my anointing out of the hands of the ungodly and pouring it out upon the lowly, upon those who had walked in darkness, humbled themselves, and have been brought into the kingdom of God by my power alone. These are the ones who will wear the ring and coat of authority, says the Lord. These are the ones who will feast at my banqueting table, these who had been lost but have come home to the Father's house, for the tide is turning, and the winds of the Spirit are blowing, and the will of the Father is being accomplished on the earth in this day. Every high place will be brought low, and every low place will be raised up and made level. Multitudes will stream into the holy place along this way, for all hindrances shall be removed. All bindings shall be loosed off those who have been oppressed by a hierarchy of oppressors who have lorded their authority over the people. Those who have been in such positions of authority will be removed and replaced with the meek. No longer will those who seek the Lord be held back by the hand of men. You will see the tentacles of their oppressors cut off, says the Lord, and the cut will be clean, and healing will come quickly. I am using you, my beloved, where I have placed you. You are instruments in my hands to tear down the strongholds in a structure that has dishonored me. You are instrumental to the plan and purpose I have for the body of Christ in this day. I am forming a core group and putting in place those who will be part of it. Those I've called and chosen are sealed for this purpose, and they shall be pillars around which the new structure is built. This unit will be tightly knit together, and nothing will be able to fracture it, and no wedge will be able to be put between those locked into it. 
my spirit is cementing the blocks together, for it will be a spiritual joining of those called to this purpose. Each will be rooted and grounded in. Each will guard the gates to the city and be a watchman on the wall. Worship will be this city's weapon of warfare, and praise will be her adornment. My fire will be present, and my promises will be brought into fulfillment within her midst. Rivers of living water will flow forth freely from the throne room of God, and the waters will contain the healing virtue of the Lord. Do not be anxious but rest in me. Put your trust in me, abide in me, and the power of my life will flow freely through you and into others. My life in you is the key. I will use you. I see the desires of your heart. I have put these desires in you to love those around you with the passion of Jesus. I am putting my passion into you, so go forth in it and pass it out to those around you. Let it flow forth from you to break down every barrier, for I am drawing those around you in by my love, and they will be drawn by the passion within you. This passion will point them to Jesus and his passion for them. It will not be misinterpreted, but will be recognized for what it is. Freely you have received, freely you must give. Give, and it will be given to you, pressed down, shaken together, and running over. What measure you give, it will be given unto you, says the Lord. In this word today, the Lord is speaking of the unity he is bringing amongst his people, of how he is joining those together who are like-minded, filled with and led by the Spirit of God, those who've come into alignment with what God is doing in this day. This unit will be the watchman on the wall, who function in the authority of Christ. The Lord tells us that worship is its weapon of warfare and that the river of God will flow freely with the healing virtue of Christ in this group setting. The Lord has called and chosen and sealed these for his purpose. And that purpose is to love people with the love of Christ that will draw them into passion for Jesus. The Lord is telling us that the tide is turning, the winds are blowing, and that the will of the Heavenly Father is being accomplished in the earth today. We may not understand what the Lord is doing or comprehend His plan but he has included us in it, and he is mobilizing us to move forth by the power of his Spirit. We can't put God in a box, but we can trust that we will see him moving amongst us as things shift. I hope this message today will encourage all of you who are listening to continue to draw close to the Lord to be passionate for him, and to be used of him in his end-time purposes. I thank you for taking time to listen to this. May the Lord bless you, encourage you, cause you to shine in this day, and to fulfill all that he has for your destiny as his beloved child. Have a great afternoon, and we'll talk to you again the next time. Bye for now.